Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know, it's All City Live TV. Thank you for tuning in. So, the big question for today is, why is it that NBA 2K20 has gone so far out their way to create or simulate this realistic basketball game that allows you guys to kind of live vicariously through your favorite NBA player or play amongst your favorite NBA player out there? But when it comes to the virtual currency side, when it comes to the dish out, the payout, why is it that 2K goes so far left? They create a realistic game, they try their best to make it right, but when it comes to the payout or what they offer you guys as an incentive in virtual currency, VC, they go so far left. The highest paid players in the NBA right now. This article was published on October 22nd, 2019, so it's fairly new off of CNBC's website. And we're going to scroll down here and hopefully kind of bring this all into perspective for you guys. Why I'm creating this video. Um, the average NBA player, make sure that's right for you guys. The average NBA player right now makes about $7.7 million. And if you guys are not, if you guys, maybe a lot of you are young boys, you guys don't know how to get the average. But the way in which they get the average is they add up all of the contracts in the NBA and they divide that by the number of players that are out playing in the NBA that are active. So they got that to 7.7 .7 million. 7.7 .7 million for the average player per game comes to about $85,000 per game. So the average NBA player comes home with about 85,000 per game. What do you guys make for an NBA game? What how much virtual currency does NBA 2K20 give you for an NBA game? The average NBA 2K player probably makes about 1000 VC per game. Y'all let me know if I'm right or wrong. I know some people get up to 2000, some people get less than 1000. So I, I kind of round it off to about 1000 VC per game. So the average NBA player gets 85,000 in one game. You have to play 82 games. You have to play a whole season plus to meet what an NBA player gets in one game. So again, something that kind of hopefully sinks in and sinks into your subconscious, stays in the back of your mind say, hold on. How come 2K had something that they boast about as well? They boast about creating, you know, this realistic, this simulation of the NBA. So why is it they allow you to live vicariously through your favorite NBA player as far as the gameplay aspect goes? But when it comes to virtual currency and the payout, they're so far off of what an NBA player gets paid out there. In one game, an NBA player with $85,000 per game doesn't have to worry about what he could purchase any bicycle he wants. He could purchase any basketball, any drip, any type of clothing item he wants off of one game. How come it'll take you guys 15 games to get a t-shirt? Where where did 2K go wrong here? And I don't get me wrong. 2K, the, the 2K community has done great this year. We have, you know, we're not as stupid as you look, 2K. We're, we're just not as dumb as you look. It's just how it is. I know you guys may think less of us here in the 2K community, but we just had enough. And I think 2K20 people say, you know what? I, maybe I'm not copying that this year. I don't need that jersey this year because there's a lot of people that aren't. We People used to, like myself last year and the year before, used to purchase a lot of stuff. You know, used to waste a lot of VC on this stuff. But 2K has gone so aggressive in their approach toward microtransactions that I think people have taken notice because it's so aggressive. It's like someone just trying to push you or run up to you and dig in your pockets. And you're like, nah, be crazy. Come try and dig in my pockets and see what happens. It, it just won't happen, man. So this year I said, hey, you know what? I'm... I'm done with with spending VC just all willy nilly. It's not going down. And I know a lot of you guys may laugh about the willy nilly, but it's not going down this year. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same. You know, like uh, let's go down to Stephen Curry right here. Stephen Curry, the highest paid 
contract in the NBA belongs to Stephen Curry. He's not the highest paid NBA player out there because there's endorsement in, there's endorsement deals like um, like LeBron James has, which roughly estimates to about 270 million for LeBron James endorsement deal outside of the NBA. But the highest paid contract goes to Stephen Curry. That equates that 40.2 million per season. His total contract is about 201 million dollars. But that 40.2 million equates to 40 487,000 and it's it's more closer to 488,000. Uh that's what he gets paid per game. 488,000, nearly a half a million per game. Let that sink in, guys, because there is no way you could be the uh, the um, player of the game every single game for 10 seasons straight in NBA 2K20, and you will not meet this level of currency. Why doesn't it increase? Why doesn't your VC, the incentive that 2K offers you, increase as you play the game? I'm sure some people got their VC up to 2,000. I get it. You get endorsement deals. I understand. I get that part, but you will never, never meet that level of currency like Stephen Curry. You just never, you will never meet the 7.7 .7 million of the average player, the 85,000 per game. You could never, ever, ever meet in NBA 2K20. So I, hopefully this kind of sinks in and say, well, damn, man, 2K is trying to dig my pockets. Yes. They've been trying to dig your pockets since the, since the beginning of the year. A, a couple years over, they've been trying to get in your pockets. So if, if you're not aware of that now, then stay woke. Because the 2K community, I'm not, this is not a cons conspiracy type of channel. But stay woke. Understand, spend your spend your VC wisely. Let's, let's go back into the Elgato right quick. And just so you guys could kind of get an idea of what I'm getting at. We're going to get into swags. You know, for you guys to complete a whole season, did I go in? Yeah, I went in. For you guys to complete a whole season, if you play five My Career games per day, about a half an hour per game, two and a half hours a day of My Career, which I don't even have the mental capacity to do, I'd go crazy with frustration if I tried to play five My Career games per game, per, per day, per game, <laughs> five My Career games per day. I don't have the mental capacity to do it. I know a lot of you guys do. A lot of you guys are grinders, which I com which I really commend you guys for that. But I just don't have the mental capacity for it. It'll take you about 16 days to complete a whole season. Completing a whole season gives you guys about 82,000 VC, which doesn't even allow you enough VC to create a new player. So we're going to go in over to these these items here so you guys can kind of gain perspective on what I'm getting at here. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this, but put it in perspective when you say, well, I'm going to give this course 5,000 right here. I'm going to give 2K 5,000 of my, my my VC. That means that it's five, two and a half hours of your time. It was five my career games of your time that you spent to purchase this t-shirt. And I'm not saying don't go out and purchase this. I'm not basically getting at that. But what I'm saying is when you do, don't spend your VC all willy nilly and then go grind again and then go spend it on another t-shirt. Because there's a lot of people out there who are grinding just to get fresh drip and look like cheesers, look like good players. And I guarantee you when we pull up to the spot, a good amount of times that we pull up to the spot because we play against anybody if you're not familiar with our live stream come out and join us join our discord all those links will be in the description below so you can stay connected with us and see what we do out there when we go to the park when we go out there these dudes looking like cheesers and they're getting killed on the court they're getting killed on the court and you know you got a lot of trolls out there when you look like a cheeser the trolls are going to come on because you're trying to look like you're good but you don't you don't have no vc for boost or or gatorade because you don't spend all your vc on um you know these these virtual items that 2k is hustling and i mean they going hard on persuading you guys to purchase 
understand why they're persuading you guys to purchase this stuff because if you waste your VC on this stuff, then you're gonna need VC for other stuff like boost or creating a new player. So this is why this stuff is in the game. And it's not, don't get me wrong, it's not the reason why it's in the game. Oh, another sub, hey, them subs coming in. But it's not the reason why it's in the game, but the inflation, the, the high prices, that's the reason why they're trying to get you to spend. You know what I mean? They're trying to get you guys to spend on these high price items. And I'm not saying 5000 is high price. I'm more so referring to the NBA store items, which we're going to walk on over to right now. I'm more so referring to the NBA items that are higher priced. If you dish out your VC, then you're basically telling 2K, hey, it's okay that you take my time. When you, when you go and put 30,000 on a, on a jersey, 15,000 on a jersey, then you, you, you're telling 2K here, there's my time. Or, you know, you're actually giving your IRL money, you know, you're giving your real money. You put down, you purchase VC, and now you have enough VC to kind of get these jerseys and stuff. And they try to get you to get get that VC down. They want, to, they want you to kind of spend that VC. So when you spend that VC, hold on, let me go in here right quick. When you spend that VC, you have less VC, you're more inclined to purchase another VC package so that you can, you know, get boost or get these throwback jerseys. Let's go into these. Damn, I didn't mean to that I had a circle. Uh, get these throwback jerseys that are 15, some fi it, it ranges from 5,000 to maybe 30,000 VC. Let's go back in there right quick. 5,000 to 30,000 VC that you're spending. When they get you to spend your VC on this stuff, then you're more, you have less VC in your, in your account, and now you're more inclined to buy another package or um, grind out. Either way, it's beneficial to them because they have, they could either say they got their player count up and their player count is playing the game for this amount of time, or um, they're purchasing through microtransactions. This, these VC packages. So, you know, we go through this stuff here, 10,000, 5,000, 15,000 for this jersey. 15,000, again, seven and a half hours of your time. 15,000 is seven and a half hours of your time to get this jersey. Understand also that when you purchase this, man, there's not everybody, not everybody as well off as maybe you and your family is. Take that into consideration as well, that when you go and purchase this stuff, you're basically telling 2K that that's okay. And then, you know, the little homie over here who's, who wasn't raised with a family that's well off enough to, you know, just buy VC packages for their kids. They, they were just well enough off to get the game for them because it's $60. So they, like, we'll get the game for you. But now the kid needs VC to get boost. Now the kid needs VC to get some drip and he can't because 2K is only getting more aggressive in their approach toward these microtransactions. So hopefully this stuff sinks into your mind. You say, well, hey, you know what? Let me chill. Maybe I don't need that jersey. Maybe I don't need this or need that. Um, and I don't want to tell 2K that that's okay. And believe me, the majority of the community this year has said, nah, they fought back and they said, nah, we're not, we're not doing it. Well, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing to our channel as we're going to have a ton of NBA 2K20 content coming your way. And if you want to stay connected with me and the All City Live TV community, then join us on Twitch and Discord. The links will be in the description below. Easy, y'all.